It's that time of the year again. It's the Rand Easter Show celebrating 100 and... 25 years. Yes. Can you believe it? It's been that long since the Rand Easter Show has been around. And as always, the SANDF has its presence there. And this year, they're actually getting some visitors, but some really interesting visitors from grade 9 to grade 12. And these visitors have uh, got disabilities, and they are coming to see what it is that the SANDF have, and uh, basically seeking to be inspired. And this is going to be very compelling and informative for them, as well as entertaining but to talk a little bit more about this and the RAND show in general we're joined in studio by uh, Sipiwe Dlamini who's the head of communication at the SANDF and Craig Newman who's the CEO of the Expo Center good to have both of you welcome to Morning Live thank you, thank you. morning morning Leanne really 125 years is that how long the RAND show has been around for really 125 wow. years goodness uh, me that's incredible yeah we've actually built a museum that is uh, going to be on display at um, the Rand Show in Hall 6, we encourage all our visitors to come have a look at that. And you will get the history of the Rand Show, hopefully from 125 years ago to today. Yeah. You know? Talk to me about the start of the Rand Show. I mean, what was the idea? I know you weren't around 125 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but but what, yeah. what started it? Uh, Rand Show, like most uh, such events around the world that have lasted so long, started out as a platform for trade with agriculture. So it started out as an agricultural trade platform where back in the day, as you know, farming was the big uh, industry yeah. and the farmers used to come together to showcase their products, to trade, to network, talk about uh, different uh, initiatives and that is um, enhancing farming in the country and that's, what, that's how the Ranch Show was formed. Interesting, very interesting. So the SANDF, I mean, also having a rich history with the Ranch Show from as far back as I remember, you've always been there, yeah. always showcasing what it is that the National Defence Force does. But when did your sort of partnership start with the Ranch Show? I think it started, it was interesting, the article that I read in one of the newspapers over the weekend, how far we've, uh, we've come with the Ranch Show when it was still uh, being staged here at uh, Mill Park, is it? Yes. Some there, yes. Yeah. And um, I think it was just to bring a different flavor, as, as, as Mr. Newman is saying. It was mainly an agricultural show. So as it developed, uh, there, were, there were different uh, institutions that were invited to come and participate to bring, it, to bring a different flavor and, and engage with the uh, various stakeholders at the time. Yeah. And today, 25 years, 125 years down the line, we're, we're still together with uh, the ranch show. Yeah, and always showcasing what it is that the SANDF does. So there's always air shows, you've got yeah. um, the, your, your different machines that are on display, and, and there's just so many sort of real life. Um, scenarios that are showed to the public that don't necessarily get to see what it is that the SANDF does and that's always an interesting thing to see. It is, it is uh, uh, Leanne, um, if you recall we were together with, uh, with you in, in Cape Town at the Armed Forces Very Day much so. yeah. where, where we showed our capabilities at, in, a, in a different environment. In fact what we showed in Cape Town was more live uh, but what, what we show here is more constrained and uh, people are exposed to various uh, things that we do we're presently in Mozambique now, something that we, we also simulate during the Ren show on how we rescue people, on how we, we, we team up with other medical um, uh, teams to, to, to rescue people and uh, give them the medical attention that they need, yeah. things that we, re we, sh we show at the Ren show. But this year we, we, we've twisted it a bit because we've invited children with disabilities to expose them to what uh, the, the South African National Defence Force does, just to expose them to the SANDF and um, not to ignore them, because in many instances we've been inviting uh, school kids. Uh, mm. We thought this time we should invite uh, uh, kids with uh, disabilities and, and also, you know, entertain them as our guests. Yeah, that's wonderful. It really is nice because, you know, it's a, it's a like you say, a different twist to this year but yes. what is it that you're going to be doing with them because um, what I'm gathering is there's around about 1,200 young learners that are coming through to actually see what it is the SANDF does. We'll be conducting something like I would call seminars for them. We have uh, two young brilliant uh, SA Navy uh, members who are mathematicians if I may and phys physics. Uh, they are actually studying at the University of Stellenbosch and they, they conduct classes for, for kids who are interested in mathematics and physics. So we'll be conducting different um, seminars for them in terms of uh, careers that uh, they, they can be able to be exposed to and make choices. So mm -hmm. there's, there's going to be a four or five day week long uh, 
exchange of information for these kids. That is so lovely. So this is obviously a major highlight for this year, but there must be a lot more to talk to. So what, what are some of the other highlights for this year? Yeah, yeah you know, w one of the things that we are placing as a highlight is Rain Show has uh, adopted uh, the SABC Foundation mm -hmm. and CHOC as its uh, preferred um, charities that we're going to be working with for the 125 years. And um, with that, we are um, arranging for... Um, competitions that we're running, uh, raffles that we're running, um, the, all the monies that are going to be raised are going to these foundations for the further development of um, what they have as their initiatives. Uh, we're also giving away a car this year, um, Suzuki Swift. Suzuki are doing an adventure zone with, for the first time at the Rand Show, we've got a 125 meter zip line. Wow. Um, and we know that's going to be a, a, a big attraction. Yeah. And uh, you, only, you only have an opportunity to win this car if you buy a ticket online. Um, we have a great flower and garden show. Uh, we have, for the first time this year, a big gaming um, uh, initiative at the Rand Show, uh, where we're hoping to attract gamers from all uh, ages that are going to come participate in this fortnight competition. As you know, gaming is a big thing worldwide. Yeah. And um, with the gaming comes dance-off, it comes uh, um, cosplay. People will be dressing up as the characters, and we believe that's going to be very, very exciting. Uh, and then we have all the, the, the normal anchors with the Rand Show, which is the talent shows, the music festivals, um, the um, cook-off, that is a new one as well. We're doing a, a cook-off where it's uh, going to be any uh, individual under the age of 18 partnered with an individual over the age of 24. And there's lots and lots of prizes we're giving away. Every element, there's prizes to be won. So there's lots of exciting things taking it's place fantastic. for the whole family at the well, ranch. It yes. sounds like it, but that gaming side sounds very, very interesting. And you're going to, once again, attract the youth into yeah. this much. Uh, not just youth. I mean, apparently gamers I, from, I from, so. from all over Actually, the world. Actually, I believe so. Yeah. That was the wrong, the wrong thing to say. Yeah. Hey, so. Everybody's into gaming yeah, these days. But listen, yes. open today. Buy uh, your no, tickets. We, we start. Uh, Friday, tomorrow, so tomorrow Good Friday. Is the yeah. actual opening you still got time to go buy your tickets online Brilliant. and where? have an opportunity. Compu ticket, Compu ticket. any Compu ticket outlet, and uh, you have a chance to win your your, your Suzuki Swift. Uh, in that ticket as well. Oh, guys, thank you so much for coming in to chat about this. It's always great to, to hear that the ranch is well, we're going. We're hoping we're going to see you yeah. on the zipline. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Maybe on the zipline, yeah. definitely not on the fortnight floor. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I've got anything to add yeah. there, but I think it'll be great. Sam, CPO, thank you very much. Good thank to see you, you thank as you, well. William. Thank you so much, Craig, for coming in. Craig Newman is the CEO of the Expo Center. And, uh, of course, uh, Sipiwe, Sipiwe Glamini is the head of communications for the SANDF. Talking to us about this year's RAND show starts tomorrow. Get your tickets from CompuTicket. Let's take a break. And uh, we've got...